اگه هنوز به این دنیا تو بستی Hi guys, okay so it's been such a long time as usual since I've filmed a video um, because I've had a million things go on in my life. Um, you probably might have remembered if you watched my last video then you know that I was talking about um, the whole idea of me possibly moving out Well, I've kind of moved out as you can see by the mess behind me, all this shit. Um, I'm still in the process of cleaning up and like sorting out my stuff. Um, but yeah, it's so stressful, like it's actually so, so stressful. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. Um, what else? <laughs> what else? I've tried to film a vlog I guess of my day to day but you know like when you're doing like up your house and stuff and cleaning and like especially when you're moving into like rented accommodation and stuff like it's rented by the way before anyone starts being care and bought and I'm like doing so well because I'm not um it's just you, you know how like, dirty it gets like it's just proper dirty so I had to literally scrub bleach bleach scrub and then bleach again just kind of said to myself you know I'll just start filming again when I finish cleaning but it's just taking ages um, currently my daughter as well is between two houses because I kind of like am really wary because obviously she's lived with me and my mum like since she was born and it's going to be a massive change to her, for her so I want her room to be perfect before she moves in I want her to have so many activities in her room and like everything is just perfect I want it to be perfect for her so that when she comes in like she's just so excited by her new room and that whole concept of her new room because she's never used her room back in my mom's house although she had one when she never used it practically became storage after a while um so I want her to kind of be so kind of distracted by that so that it kind of takes a bit of less of a toll on her the fact that she's not with my mom anymore. Obviously she's gonna see my mom like probably daily still, but it's just it's just difficult and I just don't want it to affect her in any kind of negative way, shape or form. So currently what I'm doing is I'm seeing her throughout the day, take her to nursery, then pick her up, spend time with her. And when it's time for her to sleep, she sleeps over at my mom's house and I come back here to the new flat and I just basically clean and do my work and stuff like that. Um Amongst other things, if you guys follow me on social media, I've been like contacted by a number of TV production companies um, with regards to this whole concept of like Muslim dating and halal dating, and you know, there's lots of ideas that are being like thrown in the air, and and we're kind of still in talks with stuff like that, but nothing really has materialised. I think it's just very, very difficult to do something in that sector. I don't know if it's like the right time yet in terms of how it's going to be accepted. I mean, it's going to get criticisms no matter when you kind of release something like that. But at the same time, um, maybe now is just too soon. Like from like, just like me saying I was a halal dating guru, like it just caused so much backlash. Can you imagine like, you know, people actually having like possibly a dating show and stuff. It's not even like a dating show. Like the idea that I had was something like, anyway, that can wait until it is a solid plan and stuff. But but yeah, I'm kind of back to, back to, back to where? <laughs> I'm kind of back to filming now, so I've sort of had the idea to, all the questions that people have sent me, I'm going to kind of try and generalise them. I'm going to say the story, you know, of people's anonymous stories, and try and, you know, give advice to each topic, but generalise it a bit so that it can be kind of applicable to loads of people, not just, you know, the person that's in the story, obviously. Um, so that's what I'm really planning to do now. Um, other than that, obviously I'm going to do you guys a house tour finally. I've been asked for a house tour my entire life. Like since I came onto YouTube, I've been asked for a house tour. And the reason why I've done it is like my life is always a mess. Like I've not found any stability. Like since my husband died, I've just felt like kind of between places all the time. Like I was like living in my house with my husband and then I moved in with my mum. And I've just never really felt like a place is my own like to that point and I've just literally always my life's always been a mess to be honest with you 
um, to ask my friends. <laughs> um, so now that I've kind of got my own place, I like, just like how I had my own place before when I was married to my husband, like, it's easier for me to maintain, like, you do what you want in terms of, like, where you want things to be, how you want things to be, you know, the washing, everything is just, like, on your terms. Um, a lot of people ask me, like, what, what the reason was for me moving out, and, and that is partly the reason, and more than that as well, I think it was, not even I think, I know it was straining my relationship with my mum quite a lot, I, I know a lot of people would have this, who have moved out, like, people have gone to university or, you know, like, different cities for university and people have been married and then kind of got divorced and moved back in with their families. You, like, what you see, like, what you'll notice if you're in that situation is it's so difficult to move back in with family once you've lived alone. Um, and it's not because you've become loose or anything like that. It's just because, you know, you we've already grown up with different ideologies to our parents already. But we're, we're not in a position to kind of follow them through whilst we're under our parents, you know, roof. And once we move out with our husbands or, you know, whatever it is, we kind of, we become our own person and we kind of live our life the way that we see fit based on our parents' teaching, but also our way that we've been raised and the way that we've grown up in, you know, in Western countries. So when you move back into your parents' house, like, you're always going to clash, but the difference is you're less likely to kind of kind of roll over because you're like so solid in the way that you live your life it just causes unnecessary tension and it was really really straining my relationship with my mum and it really kind of upset me because like my mum was like my best friend like always she's always been my best friend I don't think anyone has like I know everyone has probably feels like that but me and my mum because she was a single mum like it's always been like me and her kind of thing and we joke together we laugh together we watch the same I'm gonna cry we watch the same shows together, like, we've got, like, so many, like, so many, um, why am I crying, please, thank you. This, this whole experience has been so emotional, like, I was so desperate to move out, when I moved out, I'm just like, mm, I kind of miss her, you know? But this is for the best, I know it's for the best, but anyway, um, we've just been friends our whole life, and then to the last couple of years, since my husband moved out, obviously the first year of my like since my husband moved out, since my husband died, obviously the first year she was just like silent with me, like just letting me do my thing and grieve and like peace. But since then, it's just very very strained our relationship, and I just don't want to ever to get to the point of no return. Like I love her to death, and you know as I do my father as well. But I just I like I don't live with my father, so my relationship with him, though strained, it's not as strained. Um, Oh God, can I just remember my tears, please? Um, so yeah, for me it was just kind of like saving my relationship with my mom. One second, I'm getting cool. Well, well, well. Can I just say something? I, I know you called, but I was asleep. I slept throughout the day. And then I woke up and I was late because I was going out with Rena to Bamboo. So I was just rushing, showered. Did you get girlfriend? And now I'm, hey, filming, you're on the hey. vlog. You're on the vlog. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, am I? <laughs> Bitch, am I? <laughs> yeah. Can I um, have a right yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm finishing this up now because it's just an intro. So I'm gonna queen exactly three, four minutes. Alrighty. Love you. Bye. Girls vlogging. <laughs> Go Sarah. <laughs> Bye. Bye, girl. Bye. Anyway, so um, so yeah, that's literally been my life right now. It's just been a massive emotional roller coaster, um, and more than that, I'm I'm really like it's affecting me that I'm not spending more time with my daughter. Like it's just really taking its toll. Like you don't understand. I'm not even gonna think about that because I'm literally gonna ball. But it's all for the greater good. Um, once I kind of like once I get this whole place settled in, I'm gonna get her moved in and everything will kind of, the battle balances will be restored inshallah. But yeah, that is my life right now. It's a lot of like ups and downs and um, I think it's it's important to not, um, yeah, it's important to not like kind of um, let things get on top of you. And it's important to take a break from social media, which is what I did, because I just didn't, I don't have the mental, like we're dealing, all, my emotions are so invested in what's going on in my life right now, I don't have the emotional capacity to deal with like social media as well, so like I've been quite dry 
and like quiet on social media if you guys have noticed on Instagram, Snapchat, etc. Um, and I appreciate all the messages that I'm getting as well. Um, well, they kind of died down, if I'm going to be honest. No one gives a shit anymore. <laughs> and the first week or two, I was like, where are you? Oh my god, where are you? And I was just like, uh, you're going to do YouTube videos or what? Like, <laughs> no, I'm joking. I appreciate all your messages. And, um, and yeah, so I'm so excited um, to, to basically... To basically to take to basically just jump onto this next chapter of my life. Um, I'm gonna basically add my email. I want you guys just like the old days on Snapchat when you guys used to send me your questions about your like relationship problems that you're having or dating issues that you're having. I want you to send them. I'm gonna literally like it's gonna be a thing now. I'm gonna actually go through each one. And I'm gonna do like videos for each one, uh, and we're gonna basically sort out all our dating and relationship dilemmas and problems and we go and be strong independent women <laughs> but yeah so yeah basically I was gonna do one question here but I want to do it properly I want to I want to like start doing it the way that I plan to do it I don't want to rush it um so I'll probably do that for my video after the next one which will, my next one's gonna be a house tour hopefully if I get this sorted in the next few days um and yeah we'll go from there um I love you as always guys. This is probably, I'm putting this intro to a vlog from the last week or so, maybe a bit more, I don't know. I don't even know what I vlogged. I know I vlogged my lips, I think. I got them redone. Um, my Botox, mesotherapy, masks, my microblading I also did. Can you guys see? This is literally how I wake up now, unfilled. I don't fill out my eyebrows at all. And I've not even had my top up yet because usually I have a top up after. I haven't even had my top up. Mm. Oh my god, also my weight loss. I know it doesn't look like it because I'm wearing like literally a bin liner kind of jumper. Which by the way, £7 from Primark. I know people call it Primark. Every time I say Primark, my friend looks at me like, it's Primark. <laughs> But I call it pre-mark, so yeah. Anyway, and it's so long as well. I got like a massive size. I think I got like size 18 or something. But it was on sale. It was like £13 original price. I like it. And it's so soft. It's so warm in this weather. Oh. And my scarf, obviously, it's from modestbyt.com. All links to like everywhere. Where I got my lips, where I got my Botox, where I got my microblading, where I got my scarf, where I got... Well, this... I just told you it's pre-mark. But yeah. Anyways, all links will be in the description box. Along with my social media links, make sure you follow me if you don't already because there are things that I don't post here that I post there and that don't post there I post on snapchat I don't post on snapchat and blah 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 anyways that's it that's all bye guys bye bye <laughs> love you guys bye bye hey guys so mm, mm, today's the day of main procedures I am off to to get mesotherapy done which you guys know I'm obsessed with which is the procedure of injecting vitamins inside the skin like the skin surface um, and then I will be getting my Botox I know which order medically speaking but yeah it's coming back can you see it's coming back oh my god do you know the, the problem with Botox is once you get it and once you get the effect of it you're like mm, yeah it's not about the life of lies anymore like no freaking way am I gonna put up with that anymore ew ew <laughs> oh my god it's so ugly do you know what's so funny is my lines used to be a million times worse than this when they like before I ever started so now when like the Botox wears off and you see what's left it's nothing compared to what I had before but at the same time I'm like ew ew I can still get rid of this ew in case you don't know what Botox is it's a medicine it's not a filler Although I'm gonna get Phyllis today, so <laughs> no, I'm trying to make this one halal. But um, but yeah, the Botox is just um, um, it's what it's just medicine, and it paralyzes the muscle that found. So it's literally like going to the pharmacy, and instead of taking the medicine, you're injecting the medicine. It's all we're doing right now. So yeah, <sighs> yeah, that's all. Oh, I did. 
because the part that everyone's gonna have a problem with. Mm -mm. My birthday is next month, and you know what? Say what you like. I like the fake look. So, I'm gonna get some more fillers for my lips. Another another 0 0.5. Last time I put 0 0.5. This time will be another 0 0.5. Hopefully, it will build up. Because, yeah, I don't know. I mean, personally, I want to go to up to one mil, but the lady that I go to was like, mm, yeah, no, it's not about that life. <laughs> um, so, yeah, really good and important for you to actually have someone who um, you go to who can give you, like, exactly, like, the lowdown of what you need to do without trying to oversell products and services. So obviously, she would have she would have benefited more of me getting a one mil, but she's like, yeah, no. So now, no, no, it's not about that duck life. But anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna get out of the hospital today. Um, the reason why I'm wearing this bazaar style scarf, you guys know, I don't really fare well with turbans in public, but. It's just going to be easier for her to do all the the procedures. And every time I go, I waste like 10 minutes trying to put my head in the turban. So let me just go there with a the turban. But I bought my thing, my clip, so that when I finish my procedures, I can put my scarf on like normal people. Um, but yeah, so no 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 comments on how fat my face looks. I know how fat my face looks. That's why I don't wear turbans. As much as possible. Anyways, but yeah, I'll check back in a bit later. But thanks for joining me to my vlog after 15 years, maybe? I don't know, something along the lines. Bye. Hi guys, so I'm here now at Alum. <laughs> what are you Alum. 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 I was thinking that one. But guys, can I just hold on? Just hold on one second. How cute does she look, please? Like, just look. I'm just going to show outfit picture here. It's so, so cute. Anyway, so we're here at Alum. Are you filming here? No, because I can see me and you. So I just sat down in the Yeah, sit down. Yeah, no, no, sit down. I can see you and me. Because you're going to tell us what I'm about to do, which is dam planing. What is that? So we're going to use um, a scalpel. Mm hmm. Just gonna shave my face basically. And we're gonna do a nice little shape, shape up. up. <laughs> nice shape up, little trim. <laughs> um, so this exfoliates your skin. Mm -hmm. Takes off the dead skin, takes off the little baby hairs that you have. Mm -hmm. and, and I guess most people would wonder if you're gonna remove the baby hairs, are they not gonna come back thicker? No. No. They don't come back thicker. No. I've tried it so I can attest I to this. All the time. It doesn't come back thicker. Obviously, if you've got Thick facial hair, mm. it's not suitable. But if you've got very fine vellus hair, so peach fuzz, yeah. it's perfect for that. And that's it, you can take it. How are you enjoying your <laughs> How are you enjoying your salted caramel? Kitty meats. <laughs> meats. It's really good. How nice is it? This is our new this is my new order guys order? for Christmas, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do the demo playing, so I'll get back to you guys when we demo playing then. Bye! <laughs> Yeah, this is the worst makeup you could put for me. So I'm gonna knock out. Huh? It's the worst music you could put for me. Here's so what I'm gonna knock out. Dollar. I swear. What do you want me to put this? This isn't classic music. This is sleeping music. It's an ad. <laughs> this isn't called sleeping music. No, it's called Zen. Papa, paparazzi. Close your eyes. <clears throat> I miss Lady Gaga back in the days. When mm -hmm. she was half weird. Do you? Yeah, but now she became full weird. It's just like difficult to relate. When she was half weird in her like paparazzi album and like the the. Let's have some fun. This beat is sick. No 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 no. I'm a disco stick. You, you're not gonna tell me when you record. I'm recording. Oh, wow. Well. <clears throat> Cold? Say again. Feel cold? Mm -hmm. 
Oops. <laughs> I needed to wash my hair anyway, jokes. <laughs> not jokes. I am not jokes, definitely not jokes. <laughs> so right now we're just cleansing. <laughs> Down plating procedure. <clears throat> the, the reason I look so stiff is I can't move because she'll cut off my face, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I don't know if you guys can see that. Wait. Where? Oh my god. Ew. Ew. Guys, that isn't just her or Peach. This is going to be so satisfying. Okay. okay. I'm going to go here, yeah? Okay. But I need to like. Like this. this is a proper fucking shape up! <laughs> Guys, this isn't just peach fuzz, which is the beautiful thing about this one, well, the not so beautiful thing because it's so buzz. This is actually like the, the dead skin cells as well. And when you get this done, like when I got it done last time, like makeup applied, like friggin' amazingly like it was like a magnet to my skin and my skin just absorbed it really well I don't know how much I'm going to do it I'm going to go to my side 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 To sharpen our blades. Mmm, too much shit on my face. And it's normal to have red eyes. <coughs> so. Yeah, no, no, I get that anyways. Yeah, you get it when I touch you. That just doesn't even sound right. Touch your face. God. <laughs> what? After the little, the comments you've been dra dropping to me as of late, you just don't know, do you? But I don't know what I'm Guys, saying. basically every single time, like, I thank her for something, or she does something, and I'm, th I'm like, oh, thank you so much. She goes, I. <laughs> she goes, what do you say? What do I, I say? You say something like, I can think of ways for you to thank me later, or something like <laughs> that. Something really buzz, like, ew. No, no, no that's like not when you're thanking about. me. Must be what it is? Um, no, no, no. Because you like to me, I can think. I'll think of ways for you to thank me later. Oh. <laughs> No thanks. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Let's not act like. Don't be hard to get right. Ew, because ew, ew. That is so fuck message. It's gonna fall on your own face. <laughs> That's true. So we've just finished done planing. Just see my skin just looks whiter. Let me see. Ew. That's Ew. half of it's flown all over the room. Ew. <laughs> Ew. I was trying to get away, man. <laughs> trying to escape. Okay, so we're gonna put you just leave you on mask. So we're gonna have a mask now. It's just a hydrating mask because you were really dry last time. Yeah. It's a hydrating mask because this this made me dry last time. So it's always good to hydrate. Hyd oh so it cold. might sting a tiny so bit. Cold. Mmm, 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 mmm. Smells like mint. Mmm, yes it does. Mmm, -hmm. on my freshly done plain skin. Mmm, exactly what I want to feel. Hey. <laughs> hey guys, so I've got my... I've just finished my... Oh, so weird because it's numbing cream. I've just finished my done planing. She's put a bit of a hydrat hydrating mask on. And now, I'm about to get, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, uh, basically this is just numbing cream. So, about to remove the hydrating mask now, so 
been what, 10 minutes? It's been 20 minutes, yeah, right? 10, yeah. And then we're gonna remove the numbing cream that you guys just saw. And then start. <laughs> we'll ice your lips. Mm hmm. Okay, his mask is gone, but just look at my skin. Hold on, let me focus. This is unfiltered skin right now. It's not about to filter. It's not about to filter. Just look at, I forget the redness because I just get blemishes regardless. But, like, that's my skin up close and personal, which I think is pretty amazing to be honest with you. Like you're never ever gonna get out to someone's skin like that, but like look at me just like from a normal view. Pretty sick, huh? Guys, so I've just finished my second treatment, which as you can tell is lips. They're really really swollen right now, so don't let this be a measure of anything. You guys will see the actual proper result in like a week or two. Um but yeah, now we're gonna do Botox to remove these disgusting fats. Eels, eels, eels. Hi guys, so I'm done all my treatments. So what I've had is demiplaning hydration mask for my skin. Um, I've done my lips, obviously they're very, very swollen now. Yeah, I did, I did this because I remember saying that. Might <coughs> it on Snapchat. Yeah, I think it, maybe I don't know. Okay, so I've done my lips now and um, they're slightly swollen, so this isn't how they're gonna look. Um, sore and swollen, may I add. Um, and I've done my Botox. You won't see the difference now. The difference takes about two to three days. Usually, basically, all these lines that you're seeing here will disappear, all of them. So, um, so yeah, I'll, I'll hopefully check back in in a day or two for the same vlog. What's the vlog? Not again. <laughs> Nothing's changed clearly. Um, so yeah, I'll check back in. Um, within this vlog to show you guys the difference. It's after two or three days, right? Uh, no longer. But it's nice I get a bit there. Seven. Seven days? Well, it should be 14. Yeah, that's the, that's the full but effect. But you'll start to feel it after a few Okay, days. maybe I won't show it to you in this vlog, I'll show it to you in the next vlog. I don't know, I'll see how I feel. See, it depends on this vlog. It depends when you vlog, yeah. to be honest. It depends if I finish this vlog and I don't need to add more. And if I do, then we'll see the end of it. Anyways, but yeah, so I will leave you guys now and maybe catch you later. Say bye. 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 You you little cute outfit, yellow. I'm covering in the middle bit. Oh <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a picture. Yeah, it looks like balls. No, it doesn't. <laughs> yes, it does. No. Keep your balls in check, man. It looks like something else. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> okay, right, thank you for that. Let's not go into detail. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> anyway, hey guys. So basically, that was the most sophisticated. Hey guys. Um, basically, I've decided. You guys know that I microblade my eyebrows like once every year, year and a half ish. So, so when did I last have it done? Over a year now, right? Or a year ago. Okay, yeah, no, we did it a year ago. And remember, you didn't put here because we, was yeah, and because I wanted to. Okay, so basically, my ultimate. That's some ugly spot, bro. It's not even a spot, it's more. Um, basically, I want my eyebrows to look like. I'm gonna show you now. Mm. Huh? Huh? No, I've got them here too. Oh. Okay, so I want my eyebrows to look like that. So it's slightly straight, but like they they kind of cut off there. Do you guys see it? Slightly uranium, but not too much. So because I had my microblading done like two and a half years ago, we obviously microbladed the whole eyebrow. So we couldn't do it the last session, which was about a year ago, because there was still like, I would have to kind of cut a bit of that to get that shape. So what we did last time was we only microbladed the front part and left that so that it would, because it fades obviously because it's not like proper deep under the skin. So today what I'm going to do is, you guys can watch me find my um, numbing cream. Like microblading doesn't hurt but I have this thing about the, the sound that it makes. You know how some people like don't like the sound of like someone scratching a chalkboard? Like that sound makes me cringe, but like I'm the only one that feels like that because everyone else I ask, they don't have the same experience. So.
So if it's that and a bit more tingling than normal, it's just gonna make me die. So that's why I'm coming here to apply. So I'm gonna do that now. Mm. Oh, question. What? When you, when I microbladed you twice, yeah? Yeah. Have your hair is falling off? No, why? I had a couple of questions recently because apparently there was a makeup artist online. I've never, I personally don't follow many makeup artists, but um, there was one makeup artist that recently got her brows done. Mm. And a couple of my clients that have inquired about microblading mm. have asked me if their hairs fall off because apparently she, in her vlog, said all her hair started to fall off. Well, I got really confused to how the no, how my, none of them, mashallah, they were freaking jigs mm, myself. But, but how in hell them. is that? Is that even possible? Because we're not even working on the hair, the hair follicle. Yeah, yeah. I think maybe she's just got an issue. Maybe she has some sort of like I don't know reaction. Reaction. Mm. Maybe she didn't do the the tests like they tell you to do. I'm gonna stay for a second here more. Still not enough. Well, we'll leave it on for about 10-15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Stay on for more if you want. How long does it stay on for? Because I don't want it to like <laughs> to wear off while you. I'm gonna keep applying more, no? Yeah, just keep applying more. But I don't know why I'm being so twisty because at the end of the day, it doesn't even hurt. It's more the sound. Guys, so this is the drawn on eyebrow. This is thicker than what it's gonna be because we're gonna be working inside the line, so don't get, don't get scared. Um, but yeah, I'll I'll come back again whilst we're micro breathing. Hit my head in the chair. I'll cut in this. Crop it. Hey guys, so um, we've just finished. This is not the finished results. Relax. Um, and basically, what we have here is. Um, the micro braiding's done, but we've put pigment on top of it, so just to let it soak in a bit more. So it's just a bit darker, tiny bit darker. Um, but we'll, we'll remove the pigment soon and you guys will see the finished result. <laughs> know I'm moving this isn't my last video but it's kind of happening now so I've just gone um, and gotten a couple of rose gold slash copper items I don't know if you can see that but they're all from Wilkinson look at that I can't bloody wait to unpack this shit like oh my god anyway um so yeah, I just thought I'd share that. Like that, the the microwave, the don't judge me for the microwave. The microwave, the toaster, and the kettle together was like a hundred pounds for rose gold, which is amazing. But um, but yeah, I'm gonna put stuff in the car and we'll go from there. Hi guys. <laughs> Basically, if you haven't guessed already, the reason for my absence. Um, it's probably this spot if I'm honest, but other than that, the reason I'm just gonna look like, I'm gonna look at you guys from here. The reason being is I finally moved out. Ah! Ah! Are you guys probably thinking eh, it's not such a big deal, whatever? It's not like I bought my property, so everyone's nuzzle can just like whew, go back down, please. Thanks. It's more that um the first time I'm living on my own, like every single time I've lived out, I've lived with someone. So I've lived with my husband, number one, lived with my husband, number two, and I've only lived with my parents other than that. So this is the first time I'm living on my own and I am shitting bricks. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> I am actually shitting bricks. Look, look, I got my keys, I got my keys. Oh, these are my house keys. Like I have to go in and open the door and do laundry and shit and wash dishes. Boy, I need to wash dishes. Anyway, point of the story is, I am gonna do you guys a house tour, even though my house is kind of a tip right now. Right now it's a tip, by the time I do a house tour, it's not gonna be. Um, Cause this is my mess, so it's fine. 
I'm happy to show you my mess. It's only when it's like everyone's mess that I'm not happy to show you. But um, what was I saying? I've not mo I've not officially moved in yet because I'm still like in the process of like you know doing it up and everything. When I say doing it up, I'm not doing any like building work. I'm just like you know just making it homely kind of thing for me and Ava. <laughs> I'm just trying to make this as as easy a transition as possible for her as well. So I'm not. I've not actually moved her in. She's visited it once or twice before I put anything in. But I'm not moving her in until I finish her room. The reason being is I want her to kind of like properly excited about her room and everything. And let that distract her from the fact that we're moving out and she's not going to be living and like breathing with my mom, which she's been doing quite a lot lately. Um, so right now she's with my mom. So what the, the way that is happening right now, the next the last few days and the next few days for like basically a week in total. What's happening is I spend the day with her or she goes to nursery depending if it's weekend or weekday. And then, you know, I spend the day with her when it's time for her to sleep, she gets put to sleep and then I come over here and I do some work. Today I had like four hours sleep. I started at 8 a.m. today, woke up at like 11, 11, yeah, 11. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try and and do the vlog, the house tour vlog, very very soon. Oh my god, that's what is disgusting. How disgusting is that? Please, like seriously, seriously. And don't don't look at my scarf. My scarf is from Primark. I, mean, I really like the concept of it. Like I like the concept. However, it, the execution the execution sorry was not like great. But I guess they didn't make it for. Let's just cover this. Oh, hello. And um, they didn't make it for a headscarf, but I put anything on my head, so. I tried putting this on my head and it doesn't quite really, I don't know, I'm not really feeling it. It doesn't feel good on my head. It might look okay or like remotely okay, but it doesn't feel good. And I'm wearing it, this is my, like, can you see? It's like outfit vibes. Dun, dun, dun. Gotta wear the, the long polos. And then, Oversized these oversized boots, which are like dirty now from moving. These oversized boots, can you believe? Twenty pounds, two zero, and they went on sale from Primark. Obsessed with them, and they got really, really high. And if you've got like this issue with like fat thighs, they're amazing. So go get them, anyways. And what else? Yes, yeah, so the scarves, Primark boots, Primark jeans, Topshop, and my shirt, my oversized. My oversized shirt, as you can see, it's like this. Let me just move this. It's like this cute kind of like really top shoppy. It's got that little pocket here and everything. This shirt is modestbyt.com. So yeah, and guys, like like I always say, all my pieces are so limited edition. Like they only get made in a couple of pieces, and once they're gone, they're gone and they're not coming back. Like I've had so many issues with people wanting to order because I rock things even after they go out, like, they go out of stock. So people were like to me, oh my god, where did you get it from? I'm like, well, I did kind of, like, advertise it. Like, I've advertised quite a few, um, stuff now, like, the new collection, and people are just like, no one really gets it, and it's the only reason people, usually people buy whenever I advertise it, and I haven't had the chance to advertise it because I've been, like, stressed with this whole movie. Once I start advertising it, by then, guess what? It's probably going to be out of stock, and people won't be able to get it, people won't be able to get it anymore, but as is life. But yeah, yeah. Also, remember my Botox? Can you see? Frowning. There's no more lines. It's all gone. It's gone. Everything is gone except this spot that chooses to reside here. Oh. Hi guys. So, basically, it's my birthday tomorrow. Like, midnight tonight, kind of. And my friend, my amazing friend, and I was like proper feeling sorry for myself, like in bed, I hadn't showered, nothing. Like I was proper miserable, like proper, proper miserable. And um, my friend basically just knocked on the door and she came, look how cute she is. How cute is she? Hi. Hi. And then she got like a birthday cake and everything. And she's so cute and she delivered me flowers before <laughs> So now, Basically, I'm just finished making the shisha and we're gonna go sit down and she's gonna make me do a happy birthday. 
and we're going to call our friends to do the happy birthday on FaceTime because my friends are not here basically other than her maybe just getting as you can see like don't mind the mess over there I'm just probably being miserable today I don't know why I think it's because it's my birthday I don't know what but let's do this let's do this have you called who are you calling I'm gonna call Mariam. Do you need my phone to call? Sarah? Yeah, let's call Sarah from your phone. Should I get a knife? Yeah, no, no, no. Just, just. Oh, okay. I thought you were actually serious with your no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, so how is, this how? is this how we do it in India? Yep, that's how we do it. I uh, wish we could get forks. I want, um, get me the. What? Thing. What? Matches. Oh, it's here. Oh, got it. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, the matches are here. No, no, no. Oh, I think I should be slight, actually. Give us a bit of lighting. <laughs> I haven't got any makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing another tutorial while you do my makeup. Either. We're not doing it, man. We're not doing it. <laughs> It's a birthday. It's a birthday. It's a birthday. It's a birthday. Yeah, let me call Mariam. <laughs> oh, did you call Mariam? Yeah. I'm gonna do it this way. Oh, maybe she's like pretty confused. <laughs> yeah, she's putting matches. I forgot inside, to get candles. Inside the um. Let me start the shisha. Just give me the hose. I'm out of this. Get this. Here we go. Yeah, this is what you're telling me about. Yeah, yeah I need to buy one more. There are only three in stock, but they don't have any in stock. I love how everything matches. Love yeah, it. it's just that's the one thing that I said I'll do to make myself feel like it's a proper home. Or maybe I'll call Sarah on this. Yeah, call Sarah. Let me call Maya. Maya might be a bit confused right now. Why I'm calling her, yeah. especially FaceTiming. Yeah. Hi! Hi! <laughs> how are you? She's calling you because. Oh, is that Maya? Yeah, I got her. Hey! She, su she surprised me and she used to I was gonna come, you little donkey. But she didn't, she didn't tell me though. I would have told you no, just like I would have told her. I just came about an hour ago. I just popped in. And, and I was on the phone when she came. And she, she goes to me, she goes to me, hey, and she kept calling me. I was like, can I call you back later? She goes, no. <laughs> I was like, uh, <laughs> you should have just come. I don't, I was just going to call call. Shall we go? Yeah, come. You know I've been messaging you for hours. Have you? Yeah. Where? Well, I didn't message you saying anything in particular. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say. Okay, she's, she's FaceTiming you. Um, I'm just going to call her as well. So oh, she yeah. does the cake. So we could do the cake together. Well, how do I... No, I know, please, I, like, this is literally my life with right now. She's like on point with every single friggin' event. Have you showered because it's your birthday? No, because she came and surprised because me. I, I came. Like, she only showers butters. when I come to her house. This is like a no, thing. No, I was butters feeling okay. sorry for myself, not showering and like drowning in my misery. And then she came and I was like, I need to shower before I meet people because that's like the whole reason I'm not. <laughs> I forgot to get candles, so I'm using matches. <laughs> Hi! Sarah's not going to pick up now. Hi? She's like, oh no, you're good now. So she's calling. Take care, I was on my own. No, but still have a kind of face. She went home. And you're on my vlog as well. Okay, ready? Happy, happy birthday! birthday. It's not enough. Happy birthday to you! Say happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Thank you. Okay, so I'm now. Cut the cake. 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 C
Ale aj sa nahapieš, tak ma ty vyšala. Oh, she's now opening wine. No, a slur, the one that the one that has been here from the cheese boards. Oh. I've never tried this stuff. I'm not. No, I usually I usually have my drink with liquor in it. <laughs> not today, like some kind of alcohol in it. Not today, man. Well, you guys are on this way, man. Me and Mari are gonna hang out right now. You and Mari are gonna hang out. Ching ching! What? Down it, down it, down it, down it! Down it. I would down it because I'm thirsty. What? What'd you say, Maria? Where's my bottle of water? Oh, ching ching! Anytime. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining this my birthday. Can you imagine this is my birthday? Say bye. 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 Say bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> Wait, I can't see you. <laughs> You're on the vlog. Okay, now Zara, look, look. Uh, okay, okay, so okay, right, to look right. Mariam, turn this yeah, way. Yeah, you turn as well. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Start talking to each other. <laughs> Like you're too good. She just hit you. <laughs> oh, I was kidding. This one's. Oh, it looks like you hit Sarah. Anyway, thank you guys. Let me say bye. Bye, guys. Oh, it's too late. You're already in. Bye. I don't edit. She's really bad at editing. That's why. Hey. 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 Like this one's like taking it. No, I don't care anymore. I have Instagram. She's so desperate for the shout. Please follow. Like so my friend, um, she's not really my friend. So if you're gonna talk, if you're gonna talk, you're gonna. Okay, so she has an Instagram account. Look at someone else. You know that? What's it called? Thingy pop. Yeah, yeah. From east, 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 east. Wait, look at her. What is she doing? She's like this. I was like, oh, guys, they surprised me for my birthday. You missed a bit. Hello, you missed a bit. This is a no, it hair. looks fine. It's, it's fine. curly hair. Curly hair has its own like nice. Life. Yeah. Exactly. God, I literally go not right now. Yeah, this table is very like, like Ava could sit on it and you can like. And yeah, we're gonna play. This to us, man. Right, hold on. She's not walking. Thank God, I didn't see that one. Look how long I haven't vlogged for. I forgot what Zoom is. Can you stop doing it on the case? <laughs> doing it? Oh yeah. <laughs> what am I doing on you? What am I doing, Nor? What am I doing on you, Nor? Are you recording? Oh, it's here. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, now we're, now we're on. Okay. When she comes to me, it's like. How about you turn the camera to us? Okay, fine. But I can't see what I'm zooming Brenna's into then. In I can't. Brenna, I'm Ella, hey, minutes. hey. I know. I have work. Hi. I have to be that night. Okay, I'm going to stop it now. Are you alright there? Oh, Bob. Stop it. My arm's actually going to smile. It's my feet. When they work too lazy. More than two days. You're gonna regret this because when it goes on, you can't delete it. More than two there's days. There's a lot of things I said that. Wait, can I just say? <laughs> there's, there's, no chicken. Chicken. there's chicken. There's chicken. There's chicken. It's halal though. Come on. <laughs> oh no. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Let me ask him. No, he said this is a wrong fucking delivery. It is a wrong. Did, did he tell what you check it before you? Is that what he said? Because I had to say. He said have a good night. No? Oh. Okay. Yeah. This. She's Call him. Smart. What is that on. random splodge? <laughs> turn it round. <laughs> what, what is that, bro? I oh, know that that's like it's um. I'm putting your finger in there. I was going to do it. That's what cheese, like, bro. Let like, me see. Hey, what if I press the wrong thing by accident? Let me go for it and do nothing. Oh, 
Well, what if um, you were scared of my finger? What's gonna what if I ordered it wrong? Let me just double check my order. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I didn't mean. Oh that. shit! Yeah. What you ordered it? Yeah. I was him for his hell. Okay, I'm gonna ask him. Bro, no, don't ruin the night. Let's just eat. I'm for. I'm for eating and then decide and then asking. Yeah. I think that's fair. I'm just eating this one. I just give me a slice. 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 Give me a sl